Good morning, everybody. This is the North Carolina Prepper. Um, I want to give you guys a eye update on my eye health. As a diabetic, about a year and a half ago, I got on statins, and then uh, my blood sugar went up really high to a A1C of, uh, I think it was 10.3 or something, which is around the 300 range. And um, shortly thereafter, I developed spots in my vision, uh, blurry spots, not blind spots, but blurry spots that I could see through. I'd notice it when I was looking at grass or something like that. There'd be like a blurred area. And then a bunch of floaters came. And uh, then I found out my sugar was high, so I quit my uh, statins and, you know, got on the keto diet and all that. But <clears throat> <clears throat> I've been taking a 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C and 800 milligrams of vitamin E a day for about three months. And it seems to have helped the spots. Or, well, it's helped the spots a little bit, but it helped the, uh, the floaters go away. Uh, that may be baloney. It may not. I don't know. It could just be my mind learning to ignore them. I don't know. Uh, my dad said his optometrist told him to do that, so he did. And he doesn't have floaters and hasn't had them in years. <coughs> so I went to a, an eye doctor the other day. Guy had all kinds of paper on the walls, all kinds of certificates, so... He's, he's educated and uh, well-schooled. And um, I had the uh, eye exam done because I figured, you know, there's no way I'm getting out of here without some kind of needle in my eyeballs or something for a leaking retina or retina detached. You know, I, I read on Google all the bad things that cause floaters. And um, long story short, everything is fine. I barely even have... a. Uh, like 150 is my prescription for eyeglasses. I went in for the advanced exam where they do for contacts and all that because, you know, I want to get those zoom contacts that can zoom in, but I guess they're not out on the market yet. Anyway, I had this thing done called, uh, well, I had two choices. He could dilate my eyes for a diabetic exam, which makes it hard for contact uh, exam. And they could do a digital picture of my retina. And he was talking about expense and this. And I said, look, I don't care. If it's your eyes, what would you get? I want the best. Do them both if you want. I don't care. Because you can only do one or the other. So he said the very best one is the, uh, the digital picture. When it's called uh, digital fundus photography. Look that up. I guess it lights up a whole lot more of your retina than a uh, uh, typical exam is like 30% or something. I don't know. So I got I got into this big machine that looked like something that you know Bruce Banner used to turn in the Incredible Hulk, and I put my face in. This thing's powering up like a proton pack from Ghostbusters. Thinking, oh my gosh, I'm I'm bad at it, right? So I put there, and it does a big flash. It's like being hit in the eye with a like a laser, and it was a green flash. And I said, oh wow, and then I could see all the retina stuff that glowed on my eye for maybe a half second, like a an image burn from like a flash bulb. And I saw all these spots and everything. I said, oh, my God, I'm screwed, right? So they're all, oh, well, he'll talk to you in a minute. So I went in there and did that, and they, they took the eye pressure with a, I don't know, it was like a little gun that was oscillating back and forth, and they touched my eye with it. In my family, we have um, a lot of um, eye pressure, glaucoma, and a lot of stuff and you know my mom was a diabetic and she had retinal detachment and just all kinds of eye problems um so i figured you know it's been 11 years since i've been a doctor i think 11 or about 11 years for my doctor so i figured i was screwed really screwed and turns out my eye pressure was uh was 13 and 15 different eyes and I asked, you know, if that was higher or not. And she goes, well, these numbers aren't alarming. And I thought, oh, shit. I mean, pardon my language. You know, not alarming. That means we're going to have to deal with it. Well, long story short, that's perfect. It's pretty good. Um, they, the, the pressure numbers run from, uh, I think it was 12 to 22. So I'm, I'm good at the low end. So I don't have glaucoma. But he was looking at my eye. And I, I snapped some pictures. And I was going to put it on the Internet. I'm going to put some random pictures up. But... I, he said not to do it because I was going to put it on YouTube. He goes, no, because this is a this is a retinal scan, basically, and you'll compromise your personal security for 
forever. So he said, don't put your retinas on the internet. And I said, okay. So we'll get some generic ones like that I'm putting up here, like you'll see here. Uh, but basically, I had an eye hemorrhage. And uh, I said, oh, no, here comes the, the laser surgery or the eyeballs or the needles or the steroid injections or something. And he told me, he goes, well, first I, I saw this big black spot, and I said, oh, man, oh, God, that black spot, not oh, good, and, you know, black, big black spot. And he goes, no, no, that's your macula, that's fine. <laughs> he goes, that's your friend. <laughs> so, you know, like, I didn't know my health, but whatever. But we had these yellow dots, a little cluster of them. They looked like a, well, they looked like the Millennium Falcon kind of, that kind of like a C shape, like that. And that's kind of the blur spot in my eye. That's what it looked like. And he goes, no. He goes, what this is, is you had a, uh, a hemorrhage in your eye. But it's, for some reason, it's sealed up and healed now, or healing. And it's going to go away. And I said, is that the spot I see? And he goes, probably not. It's awful small, but I don't know. It's the same shape. And he said, probably, so who knows. But I don't know. Things are getting better. The, the, the blurry spot's getting smaller. Now, he said, and there's no retinal detachment or anything wrong with my retina. He said, they're just perfect. They're fine. And he said that some people can have really high blood sugars when they're young and, you know, like two and three hundred and it'll just they just bounce back from it. And he said, you goes, you want to keep your eye below 180. That's the magic number for damaging vessels in your eyes for, for a sugar glucose level. So long story short, I'm now done with everything in my health other than, you know, getting vaccinations and stuff. I want to upgrade all update all those. I'll probably get the World Traveler pack, you know, because I might be exposed to people from other countries that may have something that we've gotten rid of, you know. I don't know if my polio vaccine is still good or my, well, smallpox. I don't even think they give smallpox anymore. I was one of the last ones to get it back in the, I guess, 69 or 71 or whatever it was. But I just want to update all my vaccines because I like, you know, I like not being sick. And, you know, that's a personal view. But anyway, this uh, this retinal fundus photography, they didn't need to dilate my eyes because the first time I had it done years ago is I had a, had the eye drops to dilate. And uh, my pupils were all dilated, and I was going to go outside. And I said, you need to wear these, uh, these like, glasses. They're, like, big plastic things that go over your eyes that look like glasses. And I said, screw that. That's That's old people stuff, right? So I walked out, you know, without any protection and fully dilated eyes or pupils, and my head pretty much exploded. So I screamed and ran back inside and said, I'll take the old people glasses. <laughs> so this time I bought, I brought my glasses with me. I brought my, my, all my stuff to protect my eyes. But they didn't end up dilating my pupils, which was odd because they did this, this uh, photography. Now, it was more expensive I don't know what it cost. I had insurance. So I ended up paying like 80 bucks uh, when I was done. But I don't know. It's just, I, it's some new tech I didn't know about. And I'm, I'm just so happy my eyes are fine. My health is fine. My diabetes is under control. Everything is fantastic. I can really move forward with my life now because I was worried about that. I was worried about, in a, in a, you know, a shit hit the fan scenario. How long until my eyes start having problems? You know, I don't know. You know, diabetic, you know. But everything's under control. And I and the way mine is, I can easily keep it controlled without medication. Um, or I can have medication, be lazy, either or. But I can control it without medication, so that's outstanding. But, I don't know. I just think it's very cool that everything is pretty much resolved now. And we can get on with some really good videos that I've been wanting to do. But I've been... I've been focusing a lot on health lately. I've been kind of worried about things. But cholesterol's good. My eyes are good. That's so good. Um, I have a little bit of different vision in the left eye and the right eye. So my brain comp uh, compensates for that. Um, they said I could do... Years ago, I couldn't do contacts. I mean, originally I could, then I couldn't, and now I can again. So I don't know. You know, I, I really just wanted the ones that would let me zoom in on stuff, but those aren't out yet, I guess. And there's some ones that record your blood sugar and all this good stuff. Those aren't out just yet. But that's it. Don't get paper. Help that date. And as soon as my packages get here from Amazon, which will probably be tomorrow, 
We're going to start doing some cool stuff again, man. I, I mean the really cool stuff. But I'll get into that then. But I'll, I'll put a link to uh, Retinal Fundus Photography Images. It looks like galaxies. You know, it's your eye. And um, it's really cool. It's really cool. Like, I took pictures, but, you know, like I said, it's, it's a really bad idea to put it on, uh, you know, on YouTube because, you know, I might as well put up my credit cards and everything else in the future. So... I'll, I'll put a generic image from the web up here and stuff, but like I said, this one is a macular edema that's got little yellow dots in it. Mine's like one of the little dots at the bottom, just a little tiny one, and uh, like I said, it, it looked like that, but that's not what it was. It was a hemorrhage that was leaking, and that's probably what caused the floaters, and he said there are some surgeries to get rid of floaters, but he said it's just not worth it. He goes, if they ever go in to have to remove like a broken blood vessel where it's your eyes filling with blood, he goes, then you can have it sucked out of the jelly, but it's not worth it otherwise. And you know, they're just a little bit irritating, but you know, not not irritating enough that I want needles stuck in my eyeball. You know, so there's that. You know, North Carolina Prepper hereby officially states he does not like things that are scary or painful. All right. You all, I hope you all have a great day, and uh, yeah, just have a great day, everybody. North Carolina Pepper out.